How's it going everybody? Solo Black 313, Rise and Ride coming at you. Thanks for stopping back by. And as you can see in the thumbnail, I got a new bike. It is a 2000 Suzuki Katana. Um, it's, it's, it's crazy. Uh, God has been blessing me in so many ways. Um, I, I got a new bike! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> so the morning that I got this new bike I actually called my friend John at Approval Power Sports in Sandusky Michigan and that's the dealership that sold me my Kawasaki uh, Jigster 600 that's the bike I put on layaway so I spoke to John that morning and I was like hey John I would like to uh, see if you could find a bike for me and uh, the bike is a 2016 to 2018 uh, GSX-S 1000F and that's the upright uh, naked um, sport bike 1000 so uh, he said okay then later on that day I uh, one of my technicians was working in a gentleman's apartment and uh, he called me he says hey Kenny um, I have to leave because I have a doctor's appointment could you come over and finish this job and I said sure so I went over there so as I was working on finishing up the job that Michael had started uh, I saw a cup on the counter and it said falling water and I knew it was a Frank Lloyd Wright uh, museum piece because I have bought the same cup. So I asked the couple, I said, hey, you guys have been to falling water, Frank Lloyd Wright's museum in uh, Mills Run, Pennsylvania. And they said, yeah. So I said, well, you know, I, I, uh, I have a YouTube channel and I took one of my motorcycles uh, along with my uh, camper and I went to uh, the museum and I stayed at a uh, Jellystone Yogi Bear Park. And so he says, oh, you ride motorcycles. And I was like, uh, yeah. He says, well, you know, you know, we're moving in about two weeks and I got a motorcycle that I'm trying to get rid of. And I was like, well, you know, I already got three motorcycles. I don't need another one. He says, man, I'm going to make you a deal on this bike that you just can't refuse. I said, well, before you show it to me, what is it? He says, it's a, a Katana 750, a, a 2000. And here's the thing about it. I cut my teeth on a Katana back in the late 90s early 80s, I mean, late 80s, early 90s. So I say, well, is the bike here? He says, yeah, it's right outside this door um, off, the, off the kitchen. So he opens the bike, and this is what I saw. This 2000 gray katana, uh, dirty is all outdoors. And I say, well, uh, you said earlier uh, you were gonna make me a deal that I couldn't refuse. He looked at me, he says, $200. And I said, $200? He said, yeah, man, give me $200 and you can have the bike. I said, what's wrong with it? He says, the clutch cable is broke. I said, that's all? He said, yeah. He said that back in nine, uh, 2003, he blew the motor and he had the motor rebuilt. I said, well, you know, how, how long has it been not running? He said, he stopped riding it in 2008. And I was like, oh my goodness, the bike's been sitting for 14 years. And so, um, yeah, I thought about it for like one second. I said, I'll be right back. I finished up the job. It was just before my lunchtime. I went to the bank, I grabbed the $200 and the rest, well, as they say, is history. So now I'm the proud owner of a 2000 Katana 750. 